Hi, little chicken. Hello, my girl. What's the matter? You want to come out? Huh? You want to come out and play with the boys? Come on out. Come on out, little chick chick. Come on out, chick 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 chick. Come on out, my girl. No, it's all. No, 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 no. You can't go in. <laughs> no, you can't go in there, silly. That's a chicken's house. That's a chicken's house. Good evening, folks. Uh, Sadie here again at Sandy Shores Farm. Uh, well, it's been quite the interesting weekend. Um, hi, my boys. <laughs> Totes my goat. Can you tell? <laughs> and if you've been following us on Facebook and Instagram, then you're probably already aware of our current situation. Um, like I said in my last video, we found out that um, very quickly here we will have to be moving off of the five acre farm down the road. And we found out this weekend that instead of staying in the house for the winter, as we had planned, um, we now have 30 days, which is actually 26 days now, to vacate the property um, that has our house on it, which is also the property that has the goats and the rabbits and the chickens on it. Um, so now our next task is to figure out exactly how we're going to make this all happen a little bit quicker than we originally expected. So how exactly does one move an entire hobby farm, 40 some odd animals, a bunch of tools, machines, a fifth wheel trailer, a bunch of garden in 26 days? Well, we're not really sure yet, but uh, I have a feeling we're about to find out. We did get some good news though, um, the owners of the five acre property uh, came by today to check it out and see what's going on and when they realized that we actually have uh, a pig that is pregnant and due to give birth any time now, they decided that maybe now isn't the greatest time to um, take over the property and they're giving us a little bit more time there. That being said, um, it's still also really important that we get the fifth wheel out of the field <laughs> before the rainy season comes or else we're not going to be able to get a truck out there. So things change really quickly. Um, we still have some challenges to work through, um, but we are going to figure that out. So we're just arriving at our new site and someone was busy mowing the field. Cool. Wow. <laughs> and somewhere in there is the blueberries. We will find them. The solar for the electric fences. And hammerheads. Nice. So we took a load of lumber up to our new field yesterday and we're gonna get started there um, dividing the field and putting up a little bit of a fence so that we can start building some structures for the animals um, so instead of starting with the pigs now we're gonna start with the goats because they will have to move first yay right my boys yes it's my lab goat Zorro <laughs> So, yes, you're my good boy. Okay, yes, yes, you're my good boy. Are you ready, my friend? We're gonna go on a big adventure. We're gonna adventure, Clover. Are you ready? I don't know if he's ready. Oh, those guys are ready. <laughs> so, our next order of business will be to figure out what to do with the humans. 
yeah um we're still not really sure about that either i mean so obviously there's a bunch of things that we're gonna miss about being here um our neighbors obviously we have been blessed to be part of a, a really amazing community here on our road and we're really gonna miss that um but another thing that we're gonna miss is that view Because, I mean, like, that's a really incredible view, right? Really, I just wanted to do a quick little video to say thank you to everybody who has reached out to us um, over the past couple days and weeks um, since we found out about our big move. Um, we're really grateful and really touched um, by everybody that's reached out, all of our friends far and wide and our neighbors right close. Um, it's really amazing feeling to know that there is a community standing behind you, um, especially when you have no idea what you're going to do and everyone's just been so positive and we really, really appreciate it. And we are staying positive ourselves and we're hopeful that everything is going to work out for the best and all of this hard work is going to be more than worth it in the long run. Well, that's all I got for now. It's starting to get dark out here and it's Sunday night, which means that we have to go back to our regular day job tomorrow. Uh, yes, believe it or not, aside from holding down a multi-location hobby farm, we also work full-time uh, in construction which is interesting but uh, yeah we'll see you again sometime during the week thank you so much for watching and for following us and we'll talk to you next time oh hi oh hi hi my sweet boy <laughs> are you gonna eat my hat hey? What are you doing? You know, clothes aren't snacks, right? Get out of here. <laughs> Aw, you just want a hug? You just want a hug? You said you're a good boy. You're so cute. So cute. Look at you.